Hi, I'm Ron Polk. I was asked to discuss the differences between SketchUp Make, their free version, and SketchUp Pro. I don't have any experience with uh, SketchUp Make, but I have been using Pro since the very first release, or maybe it was the second release. So I've been using it a long time uh, as a companion to um, SoftPlan, a CAD software I used to use to design my homes. But over the years, uh, SketchUp you know, started out with a small company out of um, Boulder, Colorado, I believe, and then it was sold to Google. Google um, changed it and uh, made a free version, typical of what they do when they purchase uh, software and kept the pro version, kept evolving it. And then they ended up selling it to uh, Trimble, which I think is more construction related. And they've continued to improve upon it. And they have a version uh, called Make. They kept a free version. And so I just looked it up and I found this comparison. And, and so essentially the, the Make or the free version, you can do all the modeling that you see me do. It's very, very powerful. There's a whole bunch of stuff it cannot do, but has to do with more with the files and a companion program called Layout. So just quickly, so you can do pretty much anything uh, in the modeling that you can do in the Pro. So you can't import CAD files, um, you know, DXF or, or uh, all the various CAD files out there. Uh, additionally, you can't export them. So if you're gonna use it to send off to a CNC, um, machine, you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, create multiple uh, page presentations. I'll show you that program in just a quick second here. Construction drawings, these again have to do with that companion program. And then you can't uh, export animations, uh, present uh, files, full screen presentations, um, some custom attribution behaviors. I'm not sure about that. Generate lists and reports. There's a lot of uh, Companion programs you can buy and a lot of free stuff and uh, Ruby scripts that you can do with the pro version. Uh, sol solid modeling tools, I'm not sure what that uh, is talking about. And then, um, then there's uh, the ability to really style your drawings um, and that's a, another uh, companion program that comes with the pro version. And then uh, I don't do this but work with simulated film cameras. And then you don't have support, tech support and it's also not licensed for commercial use, and then um, import-export uh, IFC files. So a lot to do with files and presentations. So the, um, you know, SketchUp, uh, this is a model that I'm working on, and this is something that you can do with uh, SketchUp Make. So all the modeling and detailing, and really most of what I do, um, can be done with the free version. Now, when I am ready to put together a set of plans that I'm going to build from, uh, whether it be a remodel or home or a set of plans that I'm going to sell online, um, I'm able to bring the model over into layout and use those 3D models and um, show them in a presentation that um, my clients can see. So you can see here, um, how I'm able to bring in and, and, and show details and make lists. And, and it's pretty, pretty flexible. You can do anything you can think of, but you can see how I can just print these files and um, make notes and detail and measurements and all of those kind of things for presentation or for printing and, and building. The other program is Style Builder, and that's a separate uh, program that you can... Um, go in and develop your own styles, lane, line weights, and things like that. I um, haven't really used that much myself. I will just go into um, styles. So I have uh, my tools opened on another screen. I'll drag them over here. So with styles, I can go in and change the look of my models. And these, uh, there's a lot of styles already predetermined, and I can... Um, edit them as well and make them uh, custom to what my particular needs are. But you can see how just by clicking on them, I can go through and pick uh, predetermined styles with, you know, all kind of various settings. And again, I can go in and change the line weights and the colors and all that kind of stuff. So that again is to do with 
presentation. So hopefully that answers some of your questions to do with Make versus Pro. It's my recommendation that you download Make and get started with it and just start modeling. And then you can print from Make. And so it's not that you can't print up a set of plans. It's just you, you don't have um, all of the flexibility uh, to create a nice detailed set of working drawings. Um, it will require the pro uh, version to do that, but that's something you can uh, grow into. Start with the modeling, take some of the lessons online from YouTube, plus SketchUp uh, themselves on their channel, have a lot of tutorials, and you can get it, really get rolling. And any time that you invest in Make will um, carry right over to Pro because it's just the Pro has more stuff and then you can learn layout and get your presentations down. And if you're doing CAD work and you wanna um, uh, send stuff over for CNC, then of course, uh, that would be um, something that you would have to also get the pro version for. So a lot of stuff you can't do, but the really the meat and potatoes and the heart of it is modeling and you can certainly do that. Well, hopefully that answers the question. If you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, but most important, share the videos with others. And if you want to set up my workbench plans, click on the link right here in the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.